Hi! Good day everyone! It's me again, Miss Joyce, and welcome to another awesome episode of Sci Amazing! Because learning science is fun! Before we proceed with our next lesson, let us try to recall our last lesson. What was our last lesson again? Okay, you are right. Last time, we discussed about solutions, its components, types, and properties. Get a paper and a pen and try to answer the following. Write true if the statement is true and false for incorrect statement. Okay, let's check your answers. You, you all did it well. Alright, let us now proceed with our next lesson. These are the objectives. Last time, we already learned about the different types of solutions such as liquid and gas solution, liquid and liquid solution, solid in solid solution, and many more. Today, we will discuss the three types of solution according to their saturation, such as saturated, unsaturated, and supersaturated solutions. Let us define the following terms. 1. Unsaturated solution. A solution, one that contains less dissolved solute, then it has the capacity to dissolve. 2. Saturated solution. A solution that contains as much of the solute as it can hold at a given temperature. 3. Supersaturated solution. A solution that contains more undissolved solute than the saturated solution because of its tendency to crystallize and precipitate. To better understand the lesson, we will have a simple experiment. Okay, what did we learn from the experiment? Very good, you did a great job! In the experiment, after adding 1 teaspoon of salt and 20 tablespoons of water, and after we stir it, we observed that the salt dissolves. It means that the salt can still be dissolved by water. This is what we call unsaturated solution. It means that the solution contains less dissolved solute than it has the capacity to dissolve. The solvent can still dissolve the solute and more solute can be dissolved. But, as you observe in your experiment, after adding more and more salt in water in your container, you observe that the salt cannot be dissolved anymore. This is now what we call a saturated solution. It already reached its saturation point. Then, in your experiment, if we will continue to add more salt in water in the container, you will observe that the salt will sit on the bottom of the container. The solute is greater than in a saturated solution. The excess solute can be made to crystallize. It has too much solute. This is what we call a supersaturated solution. So do you think that the undissolved salt at the bottom of the cup will still be dissolved? How? Yes, you are correct. By adding more water and stirring the salt, 
can still be dissolved. Alright, so did you learn something from our lesson? So let's check your understanding. Try to answer the following. Okay, let's check your answers. Very good. You all got a high score. So that's it. That wraps up our lesson for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next episode.